Welcome to the rare social spreader on a Sunday. Um, I've got a lot of, well, really just one thing to really get to. Um, also, going to be doing my first exclusive. The first social spreader exclusive ever. I'm going to tell you where Aaron Rodgers is going to end up. And it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense completely. However, I think there are four spots that are perfect for him right now. And again, this is unprecedented. This usually isn't my thing, but I feel the need to uh, break some news, I guess, as the news breakers in sports are becoming more and more popular and hence, um, I guess, uh, profitable. And so who knows? Who knows? But first, before I tell you where he's going, let's do the top four places I think he should land, all right? If Aaron Rodgers were to leave Green Bay, which he's got every reason to, they're a shitty they're a shitty franchise, they've been doing it on their own, their own way for a long time, and the fact that they've only got not even a handful of not even a handful of Super Bowls with Favre and Rodgers, you got to at least have a handful. You got to at least have 5. At least And I don't care how many underneath that you do not have. If you going through Favre, and I I personally, um, I think Brett Favre is the most overrated, almost incompetent quarterback of all time. Um, He just happened to have a cannon. And I don't know if there's any throws that he couldn't make. But when you compare the interception numbers to Aaron Rodgers, it's very apparent and even if you compare Aaron Rodgers to anybody else it's very apparent that he is probably the greatest quarterback of all time and Favre really kind of sucked and if I was his coaches I would have hated him too for turning the ball over so many goddamn times anyway without further ado the top four places Aaron Rodgers should go number four come here to the mile high come play for the Denver Broncos they have nice weapons they have a good good defense and I know there's been a lot of talk about it just because they made it work with Peyton Manning but that was a different time in the AFC West as as much as 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 I think when you look at a wide receiver core when you look at a tight end core and I also think that some team's going to have to give up some kind of not ownership but like at least offensive lineman choices um I could see that as a fit, and I think it's a it's a good fit if they can make it work by keeping the defense they have, which I do think with a good quarterback can really take the next step and be a very, very good one. I didn't think them getting rid of Von Miller would help them, but I, I kind of think that it did. So, um, but here's here's the thing though. If I'm Aaron Rodgers, I'm saying to myself, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm on the <laughs> To say the least, I'm on the back nine of my career. I where should I find the desire or the motivation to go up against Mahomes, Herbert, and Carr six times a year? If if play, if going against Mahomes twice a year doesn't deter you enough, and if going against Herbert and his future the next two years, or I'm sorry, two times a year doesn't deter you enough, Carr should. Be, I think it's because he was in Oakland and then he was in Vegas and just because he's with Oak, you know, he's because he's a Raider. For the 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 one of the quarterbacks I will never understand that doesn't get the cred that he deserves is Carr. Um, what is he fourth in yards? I'm, I'm guessing, and I haven't really off the top of my head. I just know how good he is, and I know in terms of big time throws, he's number one in the NFL, and that should be a stat. Big time throws. Look it up. So I'll never understand why he does not get the recognition that he deserves. Again, if Aaron decides to go to the Broncos, I can see why that makes sense. Number three, the Packers. Like, where are you going? You went 13-4. and four, You're first in the NFC. Um, again, it kind of circles around to what I said earlier. They're one of the most inept, if not the most inept franchise in history. Um, the people who are running it are nepotism to say the least. I understand that they're like a a traded company. You can trade for shares of them, but for a team that's frankly always quote unquote done things their way, their way has frankly sucked um, and it's not good enough. And he is in my opinion and kind of pains me to say this um, kind of the best of all time. Um, Number two, the new Orleans saints. The Saints beat Tom 
Brady this year, nine nothing. They shut him out, and I, what, that was the I, I, I don't remember the stat. It was something crazy, like the first time since like 2013 that a Tom Brady led offense was shut out. Um, you've got probably, in my opinion, um, top three from a <laughs> elusiveness, from a speed, from how durable he is, and from how great he is, a top three halfback in the league, and Aaron's. Never had that behind a very strong running O-line. His O-line's always been good, but what Kamara can do with Aaron Rodgers to me is scary. And I also think that Michael Thomas will get through whatever he is. He comes back and he's got Aaron Rodgers. Um, And uh, I also think Taysom Hill could be a scary tool to put with someone like Aaron Rodgers. And let's not forget... You get the Panthers twice a year. You get the Falcons twice a year. So from a quarterback competition standpoint, that is a perfect fit. And now, further ado, before Tampa and the Rams start, I got that over here in the background. The number one team, as if my old school shirt didn't give it away enough, the Miami Dolphins. Look, you have the best defensive roster in the NFL. In my opinion, you have beaten the Patriots every year, okay? the You have the Jets two times a year, and I'm pretty sure you beat the Patriots twice this year. You've also beaten them, I think you've beaten them three out of the last four. And so you get a Patriots team, and I don't really know how good Mac Jones is, but I've seen him against your defense, and that's why you win every time, and you beat him with Tua. Um, or Jacoby Brissett. Um, and you need a quarterback, that can go and go toe to toe with, with Allen, and the Bills. Your last victory, Miami. Their last victory against the Bills was December second, twenty eighteen. Two thousand eighteen. Buffalo has killed you, but you get the Jets twice a year. You get the Patriots twice a year, and that that, that used to sound bad, but for you it's good. You've always had their number. It's the strangest thing. You get the Jaguars on rotation. You get the <laughs> you get the Texans on rotation. You get the entire AFC South on rotation for crying out loud. And with the weapons you have there, don't fool yourself. Jazeki, I think I'm saying that right, is a stud to tight end. You've got Waddle, just set the NFL rookie record. And you've got Parker. When he's healthy and he's going to be after a long offseason and gets to work with him, he's going to be electric. He's the next Adams. He's he's a spitting image of Adams. Now, if I'm Aaron Rodgers, I go to Miami and I say, okay, but you are giving me ownership over three guys that are on my O-line. The one thing that Miami for seemingly 20 fucking years hasn't gotten, even though they've had top 10 picks every year, is O-line. They still suck. They still suck. And if you can give Tua a couple more years to learn and to watch Tom, I'm watch Tom, watch Aaron and, and maybe learn from him, look, this is a perfect fit. And it puts him in the AFC East and puts him against the Jets and he gets him a great rotation of the Browns, the Jags, and all that other stuff that makes it easier to win. So my first social spreader exclusive Aaron Rodgers is going to sign with the Dolphins fins up let's go fins good luck on the wagers here today if you have any action